Today we're going to take a look at Crazy Horse Family Campground near Littleton, New Hampshire. Come and join us. So Crazy Horse Family Campground in Littleton, New Hampshire. It is regarded as one of the top campgrounds in New England. And I have to say, I agree. Arriving at the campground, there's a very nice manicured entrance, followed by a very long dirt road that goes way back into the woods. Um, it'll take a little bit to get there, but you'll make it. As you drive up the road, you'll see uh, a little bit of a recreational area and some storage for trailers and boats. You'll eventually get to the main office where there's a check-in. You stop there, you check in. Uh, they'll give you a dashboard tag, a map, and there's a little store in there. You can buy certain things, and they'll sell you propane. Uh, there's some restrooms at the office area, as well as the uh, laundry area. Laundry area has a couple of washers and dryers. All the dumpsters are just down from the office by the entrance and exit. Dogs are welcome, but make sure you clean up after them. Unless, of course, you've trained them to do this. As you head in, they have this nice uh, quote by John Muir. When one tugs at a single thing in nature, he finds it's attached to the rest of the world. All the roads, except for the uh, main entrance, are dirt, rock, stone. But they're nice and even. Slow, five and a half miles per hour. It's the American way in a campground. There are a lot of speed bumps throughout the campground. They're actually there to divert water flow. The campground is laid out in a multiple different loops um, and it's on rolling hills so there's a lot of up and down and a lot of speed bumps. Uh, so it can be a little adventurous but it's a very nice layout. They'll provide an escort back to your site to show you how to get there and even help you back in if you need that. There are a lot of conifers here, very tall ones. But mixed in are a number of deciduous trees which makes for a very pretty fall. There's a gnome and a tortoise. There is a little creek that runs through the lower part of the campground. I will say that the majority of the sites are very wide and easy to get into. Our site came with a picnic table and fire ring, came with a water spigot, the pressure was really good. Had a power pedestal, which included 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp. Of course, we had a sewer connection too. Scattered throughout the park are various tenting sites. They have a table and fire pit, and share a water spigot with other sites. There are two groups camping sites, group one, which is a little smaller, and group two, which is a little bit bigger. They both have fire pits, and there's a shared water spigot. There's also some public restrooms in the field area, at the bottom of the hill. They have a concrete floor, show a little age, but they're clean, coin up showers. They have a dump station, it's under the box there, prepped for winter. So there's plenty to do here. There's a lot of recreational activities in the park. Plus there is a lake or a reservoir nearby. So boating and fishing is a big activity here. Plus there's Littleton just around the corner with the world's largest candy counter. They have a very large playground. Some of the equipment is older, some of it's newer. It's all well cared for. They have a pool area, nine feet at its steepest, and they have an area for horseshoes. They have a volleyball net, and there's this little fishing pond here. No swimming in the pond. A community fire ring. They have a pavilion hall, hold dances, picnics, other activities. The back of the pavilion, they have a game room. It has air hockey, pool table, foosball, and some games and books. So what type of RVs did we see in here? Well, there was everything. There was the small fiberglass trailers, your couples campers, you know, larger 30 to 40 foot travel trailers, uh, fifth wheels, uh, smaller fifth wheels all the way up to the large uh, three axle uh, toy haulers. Uh, we saw some uh, 
Class A's, Class B's, and Class C. And there was some tenting going on. Did we see any critters here? There were a lot of little chipmunks and uh, squirrels running around, ground squirrels, um, a few birds. Um, I imagine that there's moose and bear in the area as well though. Were there any cons to this campground? Well, there was no dog park. That would have been nice to have. And there were no dog cleanup stations. I mean, they advertise cleanup after your dog, but there's no place to put the cleanup stuff unless you go to the dumpster area or bring it back to your trailer. So that, those two things. Would we come back here again? Yes, absolutely, we've come back here again. This was our second time here. So we like this campground and uh, we will be back, I'm sure of it. So thank you for watching. That's gonna conclude my review for this week. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Thank you so much and we will see you on the streets.